she's just not normal. Something in the buttermilk ain't clean. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda, if this is your first time here. Welcome to my beauty entertainment channel. Absolutely so. If you would like to follow me on social media, here is my Twitter and my Instagram. Go have fun and enjoy yourself on there. And while you're here, you can take some of my recent videos. I posted a video a couple days ago talking about what I would like to see from The Sims 4 in 2021. Yes, I lived in a fantasy world for 47 minutes, but you know, dream big, right? And then before that, I posted the second part of my Sims 4 gameplay series. Wow, look at me. And then before that, I posted like another Let's Talk new releases, talking about the utter nonsense that has been coming out. And I'm talking about more nonsense today. So, okay, um, um, how do I, how do I, exactly? So if you've been watching me for any period of time, pretty much, but like, especially if you've been watching me for like a year or more, you know I have an ax to grind with ColourPop Cosmetics. A serious one. Because, it's all fun and games, but I'm like completely serious. I've been completely serious this entire, I've always been serious because I clocked their bullshit years ago. Years ago. Years ago, I clocked this, and that's why I, I, I had to. I had to. Someone had to say something, right? So I, I swear, I clocked this years ago. I swear, I clocked this years ago. I got a text message. Hm, whatever. So whatever. So I have one question for ColourPop Cosmetics, and my question is: Why do you hate black people? Why? Why do you hate black people? Why do you hate darkies? Why do you hate me? Why? It's a very simple question. It can be answered in, answered in three, cent, three words or less. Why do you hate black people? I'm a little bit confused. I'm a little bit confused. Let's get started, shall we? Yes, that is my question. This is a question I've been asking for years. Why do you hate black people? Why do you pretend darks and people simply do not exist? And why have you been acting this way for the past couple of years as your popularity has been climbing? Isn't that interesting? I don't understand. I don't understand. You can't put on Morphe's hat and, and just be Morphe. You guys are one and the same at this point. I can't understand. So like, okay, fall is a relative term, but you know, the slight decline in Morphe's pa um, power, like after the James Charles mini palette, I would say that's a good like benchmark time to like, when it started, you know. It wasn't working anymore. It wasn't working anymore. Like they couldn't even sell that palette. Like you have James Charles' name on it and you still couldn't sell that palette because it was a stupid palette. Mini, seriously, why? Why did you make the original palette that big if you were just gonna make a mini? They're stupid, whatever. I don't need to harp on that anymore. Like people stood in line for the original palette and you couldn't even sell the mini, whatever. But ColourPop kinda stole their whole gig. ColourPop is kind of doing what Morphe was doing. Um, some would argue better. I would argue the exact same, just kind of in a very different way, whatever. But I raise the question again. Um, they put on Morphe's hat and took Morphe's policies with them. Why do you hate black people? Why? I don't understand. So you might ask me, Amanda, what made you sit down <laughs> and make this again after talking about this in every single new releases video I've literally ever made on this channel? Because um, I, I, there's been more issues now. So ColourPop um, finally revealed the very, 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 very highly anticipated Animal Crossing collection and I'm fucking pissed. I'm pissed. So here's the collection that's gonna be on your screen right now and I swear to God, I could have told you what this was gonna look like three weeks ago because it's one and the same. It's one and the same. ColourPop has been releasing the same or very, very similar things for the past year and a half for the most part. So let me just say some super nice things because I've been told I'm a negative person. I don't really care, but I'm going to help you and I'm going to say some nice and positive and beautiful things about this collection. The packaging is so cute. I'm talking about makeup. The packaging is so cute. It's so cute. It's, you know, adorable, but not childish. It's really, it's really, it's well done. I mean, Animal Crossing kind of gave them everything they needed to do with for the packaging, so I'm not even really gonna cut men come up for that because um, Animal Crossing is just cute. It's a cute game. You know, I 
really like Animal Crossing. I haven't played it in a minute. My island probably looks, I don't even want to address it. When I boot it back up, I'm going to just destroy the whole island, whatever. But I enjoy the game. I enjoyed the game when I was little as well. It's cute. The packaging is cute because Animal Crossing is cute, not because of ColourPop. That's what I'm saying on that, all right? Mm, so I think that's enough positivity for, I think that was like 30 seconds. Um, that's enough because I, 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 I have no more left to give, all right? Please tell me exactly what my black ass is supposed to do with this. Please tell me what my black ass is supposed to do with this. Tell me what I, what my skin tone can do with any of this. With any of this, except turn, except turn into a whisper, a figment of pigment and an imagination. What do you think will happen if I put any of this on my face? What do you think will happen? It'll disappear. It disappear into the old thin air. None of this will show up on my face. Now, so the eyeshadow quads are bad. They're bad, um, but they're not as bad as the other stuff in this. They're like, the eyeshadow palette, they could have done, they should have done something a little bit better with those eyeshadow quads, but that's not even the main culprit. The main villain, the villain, the villain in this tale are those fucking blushes. ColourPop hates black people. ColourPop hates black people. Is light pink and that light peach the only colors in the blush manufacturing line? Is there no possible way to create other colors? Because it's been the same two blush colors for the past two years. In every single collection, no matter what it is, whether it's Mulan, Hocus Pocus, Sailor Moon, hell, it's the same two blush colors, neither of which anyone who passes a paper bag test can use. And you're gonna sit here and tell me that I'm wrong? You're gonna sit here and tell me that I'm wrong? Tell me that I'm grasping for straws? Nobody who can pay, who could, no, only people who can pass a paper bag test can use these blush shades. So I raise the question again, why do you hate black people? I don't understand, I don't get it. Like, so black people don't play Animal Crossing. It's totally fine for us to ignore that. This is Animal Crossing, like, you play, if you've played the game, the game has like the colors, the actual other uh, lighting is gonna go crazy. It's like really cloudy today. Um, Animal Crossing, the colors have depth in that game. It's not like the game is full of pastels. That's not, that's not true. That's not true at all. The game, the colors in Animal Crossing have depth. I mean, Nintendo tried to pretend that black people didn't have hair and proper hairstyles for a minute, but whatever, that's not what I'm talking about right now. There are berries throughout the whole game. Baby Pink and Peach are not in the game that much for them to be the only two blush colors. That's why I'm saying, are you repackaging stuff that didn't sell? Because I, it's terrible, terrible. Because if you look at Animal Crossing, the blush shades that you came up with were Baby Pink and Peach, which in a different light looks like a foundation shade, seriously? Seriously? That's what you came- you played- did you play the game? No, 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 no. Did you open the game? No, because they said, well, I- we don't like darkies, so we don't need to- we don't need to do anything else. Is that true? Is that- it's true. I don't- I don't even need to ask any questions. Like, I, I don't know, ColourPop sucks the life out of everything they do. And I mean sucks the life as in like the depth and color that makes something look alive and makes them not look pasty and makes them not look decaying and dead. E like a like a vacuum takes it and sucks the life in and says, okay, here's our collection. That's why also for years and years and years they would only ever, and they still do, only ever post their eyeshadow palettes with filters on them. Because if you look at what they look like in real life, they don't look like that. There's no depth. If you ever see it's posted on ColourPop's Instagram, all of those eyeshadow palettes have a filter over them because they don't look that way in real life. It was worse two years ago. They still are using filters right now, they still are, but it was worse. They were bleat, it was false advertising. Everything on Club's Instagram related to eyes was false advertisement. They put filter over filter over filter over filter over an eyeshadow palette instead of actually adding depth to it. Because why? ColourPop hates dark skin people. You're gonna tell me that I'm wrong? I'm not. 
I'm not because this, this is not just the Animal Crossing collection guys okay this is why I asked my question this is a pattern of behavior that has been clear as day go I have I don't know how many new releases I've done like since I started the new releases thing in every single one there's at least three color pop collections I say the same thing in every single one who can use this I can't I can't Every single time, every single time, the blushes in the collection are the same figment of the imagination. Every single time. The only, like, if it's like a palette with color or like not, the only neutral shades, the only transition shades that can be used are a light tan, cannot be used with my skin tone. Every single, every single time, the eyeshadows have absolutely no depth that would allow them to show up on anyone darker than a paper bag every single time but I pointed out and I'm the bad guy Chun-Li I pointed out and I'm the bad guy well I'm going to be the bad guy because if Colourpop is gonna be this new it brand or whatever y'all want it to be you're gonna have to answer my question you're gonna have to answer my question of why do you hate black people If they're taking Morphe's bag, I'm oh, perfectly okay with the downfall of Morphe. I don't need a Morphe 2.0. No, I do not. I don't. I don't. Morphe has a serious issue with hating black people as well. But I, I told, we all told you that. We're, 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 they're just morphed into a different name now. Oh, morphed Morphe. Ha 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 ha. So let's look at the pattern of behavior, right? I'm going to drink some water. So I'm gonna bring up something I've been I've talked about before, but I'm gonna bring it up again because nobody likes to talk about this, and this bothers me to every every fiber of my being. So while ColourPop over the past few years has been gaining a lot of popularity and momentum, so like everyone runs to post like ColourPop makeup reviews, their um, makeup announcements are like people are like interested to know because they are getting a lot of like brand names to collaborate with them, like leaving things like Morphe and like Kylie Cosmetics and the likes like that in the dust, what used to be like people would go and watch those reviews of. Now everyone does that for ColourPop. It's a little bit different now. Also ColourPop's affordability. I made a video talking about like how ColourPop has been to change the beauty industry and I talk about that more in that video. But what, what exactly was ColourPop doing while they were getting everything that they wanted? While they were growing at exponential rates, getting them like Disney and stuff to collaborate with them, they were discontinuing products left and right, like companies do, of course. But what products were they choosing to, dis to the discontinue the most? What products in particular was ColourPop choosing to discontinue the most? The products, the only products that guess what worked for dark skinned people. Those cream blushes, the cream highlighters, the deeper ones, gone from the website, never to be seen again. Never to be seen. No announcements. They were just moved. They had a going soon page um, without so much as an announcement. So they're, they're like, they're getting rid of every single highlighter that ever works for someone of your skin tone. Hope you've been camped out on our website for the past two weeks. Otherwise, you would have no idea. Otherwise, you would have no idea because we, we're not announcing it in any, in any way, shape, or form. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck finding it out yourself. The lavender highlight is lavender. Lavender. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There was a lavender. There was a blue. There was a green. Those were all still there. They were still there, but Avalon is gone with no replacement. Highly wasted went bye-bye. Glow up. Electric slide. Most necessary. All gone. All gone, but lavender has stayed tried and true this entire time. Lavender. I have no issue with the color lavender. I have an issue where I can buy a lavender highlighter but not a deep gold one for my skin tone. That's where my issue lies. Do not disturb, gone. This is weird. Something is weird about that. Something, the only highlighters you kept are the ones for people who can pass a paper bag test. I don't know what you want me to say to that. Like if you, uh, we're gonna go on Gollipop's website in just a minute, but their highlighters don't run deep anymore, and I have my old, oh, I cannot reach that far back in here. I have my old ones, and I was putting them on my skin tone today. They don't even have replacements for these. And like, okay, here's my thing before specifics hives come at me. Companies discontinue products all the time. No one is denying that. No one's saying something that has to stop. But it's weird that is everything, everything usable for 420 and deeper were the first to go without question. That's something that I'm allowed to question, and I'm going to question because it's bizarre. Like this doesn't even this doesn't even just exist in the face realm. We can go with eyeshadows too. The super shock eyeshadows, those are, they aren't pushing those anymore right now. Like that's like pretty much not over, but like for the most part, 
very much died down so a lot of them are gone now but back I would say like two years ago when there was still a pretty good amount left the ones that weren't there anymore were the deep gold browns I say again the deep gold browns the regular golds that would pull a little bit more washed out and a little bit a little bit too like stark on some of my complexion were there but the ones that would actually show up as true as gold as a deep bronzy gold were not there anymore not there anymore. A chocolate brown with gold sparkles went away to make room for what? Shitty pastels. That's what happened then. And then we go to lip products and you know, they kept BFF3 and just added BFF4 I think in Shayla's um, racing collaboration, but Karuchi's collab is gone. So K and Rooch gone, Ellery's collabs are gone, so those are all gone. And again, products do have to be moved out to make room for new ones, I get it, I'm not denying that, but here's where the issue lies. There's been no step to give us replacements or alternative options. Hey, we'll get rid of all of these products. All of these, what's supposed to happen? We get rid of all of these products, coincidentally, the ones that dark skinned people can actually use from your brand. They do, I'm, we'll get it, we're gonna go through the website in one second. Here, you, what you would think would happen is, okay, because we're getting rid of a bunch of these colors, some of them were collab, maybe the contract expired, whatever, whatever, whatever. We're gonna, here are some similar products you can use. Here are some products which are kind of adjacent, not maybe not the exact same shade, but somewhat close. No, those don't exist. We don't need, we don't, okay, we got rid of a bunch of um, deep nudes that came in collabs. We're just getting rid of them. We don't need to make more deep nudes for black, black people. Why, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? We got rid of them for a reason. That's what this is looking like to me. That's what this is, this is, that's what this is giving me. And I don't like it at all. I don't. So like when people are like, okay, yeah, ColourPop is like great for beginners, beginners, because it's like affordable and you know, like <laughs> it's like user friendly. And I'm like, yeah, but which beginners? Which demographic of beginners? Because um, back in like 2017, when like everything wasn't off the website, or like 2018, and they weren't pushing a certain demographic away, sure. But now I cannot, in good faith, tell a black person getting into makeup to go onto this website. I can't because they won't find anything. They won't find anything. This is like some all May bullshit. This is some physician's formula bullshit. That's what the, that's what that's what this is. Just in a, on a, wearing a different hat. Same foundation, wearing a different hat, all right? Like this is the same brand, actually this is something that, <laughs> I don't even, I don't even, I, this is the same brand that had to be pushed up against a wall to actually post black people on their Instagram. This is the same brand that this summer, Killer K and Nia Nami those are their ads on Twitter, had to create the ColourPop Me Black movement because of how ColourPop liked to pretend that black people did not wear their products at all. Didn't, they, we did not exist. In my um, How Cow Pop Changed the Beauty Industry, I scrolled through their Instagram for like four minutes and I found two black people posted. That was in March. That was in March. And then after this ColourPop, black, ColourPop Me Black movement went viral, went really, really big on beauty Twitter, um, still crickets, and then in a random day in June, they posted a collab, a collage, a random collage of black creators after weeks on weeks and weeks of being called out, being asked, why don't, why do you hate black people? They posted this collage and didn't even credit the ColourPop Me Black movement, even though at least half of the pictures that were in that collage came from people using the ColourPop, ColourPop Me Black hashtag. They're sick in the head. What do you want me to say to that? What do you want me to say to that? They didn't even want to credit the movement that gave them half those pictures until they were forced to. Forced to because we were in their comments like, well, what's going on? What's going on? Once they didn't, it wasn't in the original tweet. They had to add it after because they didn't think. Had to be pushed up against the wall to post black people using their products. So I'm not grasping at anything, all right? I'm not grasping at straws. I'm grasping at reality and I'm using observational skills, which you're taught when you're six years, when you're two years old. That's what I'm currently using in this day and age, all right? So what we're gonna do today, let me screen record on my iPad. Oh, look at me, so I'm so professional, guys. We're gonna go through ColourPop's website, right? And we're gonna play a little game called where are the products for darkies? We're gonna play a game called Can Amanda Use This Product, right? I don't have time to go through the whole website, but we're gonna go through the parts that matter. So we're gonna go to makeup and we're gonna go to, 
Hmm, let's do eyes first. We're gonna go through eyeshadow palettes. Let's play a game. Amanda is shade 445 slash 450 in Fenty, and I'm shade New Caledonia in NARS's foundations. Let's play this game. Let me move over to the side so I can be like, so I can put this on the screen. Oh, wait, I have to turn it over. Sorry, <laughs> that first part was on the side. Cloud spun. Um, um, no. Not only, here's my issue, not only are ColourPop's palettes ashy, they're also like literally the formula is ashy as well, it's very chalky. You can get away with that if it had any sort of depth at all, but it don't. Well, it's a double whammy. You lose, 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 lose if you're dark skin. Losses all around. So Cloud Spun, no. Get That Coin, can't use that. Lucky Ox, can't use that. Love, this is like their like things, these Cherish palette, um... Do you see how the transition shade in um, all of these palettes um, are for people who pass the paper bag test? In every single one of these palettes, the transition shade, which is what you start like a makeup look, I don't use, I just go, I, I do it a different way, like the way you do it with the colors and stuff. But for most people, you use a transition shade first in order, and you use it to help blend out those deeper shadows are for people who pass a paper bag test. Going coconuts, um, sure I can use nutty, um, and shell, yeah. Um, I can use bedrock. Um, I would never wear pastels, so I'm not even gonna fault them for that. Um, a big palette, Morphe & Co, um, in many ways. Wine only, nothing, because I don't know what the shade is called, I can winter, I, promise you that would fade out into literally nothing on my eye. So I could say that shade, but I'm not going to because I know Color Pop's formula and I know how their shadows actually work. That's not showing up on someone of my complexion. This is called Making Mauves. Snow Much Fun, Hello Kitty, I can use this middle shade right here. It has shimmer in it, so good luck, Charlie. Um, on Cloud Blue, Big Poppy, that is my foundation shade. This one right here, this deep brown. So, um, that's fun. Um, nude Mood, Nude for Who? Nude for Who? Who is the nude for? I'm not even going to address this, this one. Um, Little Ray of Sunshine. My foundation shade has made its way again, and that yellow would not show up, would it? Boudoir Noir. Um, maybe I could use Hot Toddy? That's a Hot Teddy. Um, Ornate. This is actually the only one we'll definitely have seen this whole time. Um, so maybe, and uh, no. So, no. Then we have, um, we'll go to, which one? I don't want to show a super shock shadows because like, who cares? Let's go to, hmm, let's go to face. Hello? My iPad is frozen. Let's go to face. We're going to blush bronzer. I'm not seeing one yet that would show up. This between the sheets is a maybe. They don't even have a swatch. Maybe it wouldn't. Um, I'm not seeing one yet. I saw those Sailor Moon blushes swatched on a white person and they didn't even show up. So, and then yeah, no more bronzers. All the bronzers were gone. The bronzers that were even here didn't even run dark. I shit for anyone. So, there you go with that. Um, um, none of these would show up on me. This is a highlighter. This is a highlighter. And the rest are just whispers of my current imagination. Let's move on to highlighter, shall we? Um, I want you to look at like these super shock highlighters and I want you to think of like setting them in a line of like as they go deeper and see how deep they actually go, which is not very deep. We have Seismic, which is like a icy silver pink, so I stay far away. Out of Quartz, Rosy Bronze, no. 
Flexitarin, that was a very, very popular one. Um, intense white champagne can only be used very, very sparingly on someone who looks like me. Lunch money, another popular one. This is the, the flexitarian and lunch money were ones that were out along with Avalon and most necessary. Like some of the, they were there at the same time. But these ones have stayed, those ones have gone away to the wind. This is a soft gold, soft gold. Hmm. Um, parasol seems like the deepest. It's peachy gold. There are no, um, swatches. Then we have Hippo, the lavender one that I'm talking about, the lavender, the lavender. And then we have Wisp, which is another one that was there along with um, Avalon, Golden Champagne. So tell me someone who is darker than 420 and wants a, and is a beginner at makeup and wants to buy a highlighter, has heard that ColourPop has some really good, because it's so super, I really enjoy the Super Shock highlighter formula. I think especially now in like this age of like, I don't know, like no makeup makeup, stuff like this might come back a little bit because it's a little bit, no one really wants to use powder highlighter anymore. We've kind of graduated from that. These look really good under foundations and under concealers. Tell me if they want some sort of golden brown highlighter which is not very like not a far-fetched cry it's not like I'm asking for lavender or something not a very a golden brown highlighter what which one is she but which one is it which one are they supposed to use which one of these are they supposed to use a golden brown not golden brown gold a deep gold a deep gold what are they supposed to use because back when like all of the shades were still here um, and you had black um, black influencers talking about they got all the color pop shades and said oh, here are the ones that work for dark skin and black girls. The lightest one was Avalon. Lunch Money, Wisp, and Flexitarian were too light. Avalon was where the cutoff started for dark skin and they got rid of Avalon and Deeper. All of it went away. But Hippo State. What else am I supposed to say to that? What else do you want me to say to that? It's a hate crime. It's a hate crime. It's a hate crime. What else can I show you? So of course they're gonna be like, well show our foundations. Um, <laughs> you guys can really kiss my ass. Um, you don't need to just have a diverse shade range in your foundations. That's literal bare minimum behavior, foundation and concealers and powders. Um, I don't even know how their powders are that good. I haven't seen them in a while. Hmm. I've never tried their powders. I haven't heard great things, but also I'm not buying from ColourPop. Having a decent shade range in your foundation, do you want a cookie? You have to also, because half of these models don't have a blush or a highlighter or a bronzer or an eyeshadow palette they can use from your same brand. I'm actually really wondering what blush was used on any of these people. It wasn't from ColourPop. It was, there's no, there's no way it was from ColourPop. There's no way, it's not possible. So yeah, okay, your foundation is nice. It has a nice shade range. Your concealer has a nice one too. I've only, I've that no filter matte concealer is actually very good, but it's not in tune with the current trend of concealers at all. It's very, it's matte and it's like nearly full coverage. So like, I don't, I'm not giving cookies to brands for anything of that sort. What? Because when you go and look at your blushes and bronzer, you say, never mind darkies, you get one product from our company. That's about it. That's all you guys need. All right. And I find that literally like um, vomit inducing. And I always have. All right. So like if ColourPop is going to become, or it already is pretty much for the most part, like the go-to brand for all of these companies of like nostalgia faves and cult faves keep going to. I really, really like Animal Crossing. I also really, really like Hello Kitty. Would have loved to be able to purchase that, but I can't fucking use it. Any of it. Any of it. It's one thing that most of your formulas are ash shit. One thing. One thing for you to have a bad formula. I can forgive a bad formula if I could at least use it at least use the shade. They have like, they have Disney in a chokehold, or Disney has them in a chokehold, I'm not sure which one it is. They have Ho got Hocus Pocus, they got Hello Kitty, they got Sailor Moon, and now Animal Crossing, and I can't use a single thing from any of those collections.
I don't know which one you guys are gonna get next, but I'm at Animal Crossing, like, that's big. Especially with this past summer, how everyone, I mean, we were all freaking out over getting a Switch. You got, you got it within a couple, like, half a year, and anyone who fails, a anyone who, no one darker than a paper bag can even look at the collection. The only palette from the past three years I've been able to use use is the Raw Beauty Christie collaboration, which Christie herself chose those shades. Um, that's why there's any amount of depth in them at all. ColourPop, that's why I can use it. That's why I can use it. That's sick. You needed a collaboration to have your black consumers be able to use your eyeshadow products. Are you, are you, are you, are you serious right now? But I'm the bad guy for saying color pop hates black people. No, I'm not. I'm not, because it's true. Y'all swear, because the foundation and concealer shade range is decent. It's literally decent. It's not even good, it's decent. It's very much bare minimum behavior. You cannot exclude us from other products. You can tell what someone's true tea is by looking at the palettes and the writing is on the wall, color pop. The writing's on, a wall, on the wall and I'm really, really sick of it. Because what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Because like all these brands keep coming to you. I don't know why. The formula's not even that good either. Putting out these like nostalgia, I mean, nostalgia sells better than sex. You guys know this. We talked discuss, discuss, discuss that many, many times. And I'm like, ooh, Animal Crossing, ooh. Then I see ColourPop next to it and all my hope goes to shit. Because I know I'm not gonna be able to buy a single thing, a single thing, a single thing. And it's like, Foundation and concealer only is where those shade, that shade range, that decent shade range shows because the bronzers aren't there anymore. The bronzers that were there didn't go that deep. Don't even worry about it. They didn't go that deep. Um, so what's that about? Like, I remember back when the Yes Please palette came out, ColourPop's first, like, pressed shadow palette, and I was really excited. I got it. I, like, got it in the mail. I used it, and I'm like, hmm. I wish it ran a little bit deeper. This was in 2017. I was like, hmm, I hope, I wish this ran a little bit deeper. I had to always use the Juvia's Place Nubian One palette in addition to the Yes Please palette because it did not have a shade deep enough to deepen up my crease at all. I could really only use like some of the shades and even the ones like the yellow, the big yellow in that palette that everyone bought the palette for didn't show up on me. And I was like, hmm, that's kind of sad. Their first like eyeshadow launch doesn't really show up on my skin tone. Maybe they'll get better. That was in 2017. That was in 2017. And I'm the bad guy for pointing it out. So, um, I would like to hear an answer to my question. Why do you hate black people? Why do you pretend darks and people don't exist? Why? Because I can come up with my own reasons. And they're most likely right, because uh, any answer I get will be very much, um, oh, we want to appeal to ev No, you don't. You push a certain demographic out of, out of, out, literally out, by discontinuing all the products that worked for them, you know, you do not release any, you have not released any replacements for people who used to use those cult loved, cult loved products. You've not released any sort of replacements. The, every single um, time you come up with a collection, all your face, the face stuff in that, in the thing, um, paper bag tests have to be used. Um, your eyeshadow palettes have not seen depth or as deep as a kiddie pool or as deep as a puddle, actually. Kiddie pools at least go like one foot. So, I ask the question again. Because you're giving all May. You're giving physicians swarm just with cuter packaging, and I don't like that. I don't. It's really, it's really like this is, it's like, it's like ugh. projectile vomit. That's why I don't buy ColourPop. I can't use it. Like everyone saw the Animal Crossing collection. Everyone said, "Wow, it's so cute." I'm sitting there. Which what 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 am I supposed to be able to put on my face? On my face. What am I supposed to be able to put on my face? There's nothing sitting in front of me that I can put put on my face. My face, no, nothing. That's sick, guys, and it's literally anti-black. 
then when you add it in with their other patterns of behavior, um, terrible eyeshadow palettes, no depth in those, discontinuing old products, specifically the products that the dark skin people actually got to use and seemingly ignoring it, adding in what they did this past summer with, first of all, this whole year not posing any black people at all for the past couple of years been very very sparingly and then having to be literally driven against the wall to post black people and then posing a collage and not co come crediting the artists who created an entire hashtag which they got most of those posts from you tell me you tell me if i'm grasping you tell me if I'm, I'm not i'm not i know i'm not 2017 is when that yes please palette came out and i was like yeah Maybe they'll, see, maybe they'll they'll be like, because a, a big complaint was like, hey, these like eye titles aren't have no depth to them at all. Can't can't use them. No. No. So that's the end of my video. <laughs> hmm. So yes, I have a bone to pick with ColourPop because they have a bone to pick with anyone who looks like me. So. I don't really know what else you want me to say about that. So yeah, that's the end of my video. Thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. Um, I don't buy from ColourPop. I couldn't even if I wanted to, but I don't. So, you know, there's that. I bought the Raw Beauty Christie collection because I like Raw Beauty Christie. And that was about it. Um, yeah. I'm over it. I've been over it this whole last year I said every single new release video I said what's this again this again every single time I clocked this shit three years ago most dark skin people clocked this shit years ago because it's blatant it's blatant and it's rude and it's disrespectful and you guys are anti-black and it's disgusting and I like I don't like it's purposeful it's purposeful. It's not, this is not like a mistake. This is not like an oversight by any sort of like whoever. This is not an, this is purposeful. The Yes Please palette could have been an oversight. That was in 2017. It's no longer an oversight. It's no longer an error of our ways. It's a purposeful attack. It's a purposeful attack. It's a purposeful erasure of an entire group of consumers. that's it so that's the end of my video um yeah thank you guys so much for watching um if you would like to follow social media here's my twitter and my instagram go have fun enjoy yourself on there fun 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 and while you're here get to some of my recent videos that should be on your screen now i'll link the video i did on ColourPop. it was like last year march um and <sighs> said it then whatever 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 <laughs> whatever <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you're staying healthy and safe inside your home as best you can. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.